Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this new to me Westman Atelier. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. And we have here the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I did pick up Shade Atelier 5. It looks like it wasn't packed exactly in the center, so it had a little bit of pressure on the side there, but that's okay. I'm really curious though. I think that the shade actually looks quite good, so let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so I feel like we are in really very close territory, <laughs> so I'm very hopeful for this shade, so I cannot wait to try this on. I also picked up the other contour stick shade, I have Biscuit, but I really wanted to try Truffle because Biscuit's a little bit light, so let's see how this one looks. Okay, that one looks like it might work better for me. I think that's going to be much, much better. And then based on your recommendations, I picked up the Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter. That's really pretty. And this is in the shade Peau de Peche. So I've got to say, I loved the way that this swatched. I really think the texture is unique, so I'm so excited to try this, and that shade is gorgeous. Finally, I picked up the iPods Neige Chocolat Tabac. We're gonna start with the foundation. Really attractive presentation on this though. Um, let's go ahead with my Shiseido brush. I know that some of you have mentioned that the Merit brush is a great applicator. If you don't have that, this one's a good one too. I'm just gonna apply on one side, just so you can see. Now the shade is a little bit light for me. So I did apply the foundation to the brush first, which seems to work better for me, and I think one of you gave me that tip as well. So we're just going to apply it to the front like normal. Yeah, since it is a little bit light, I'm just going to apply right in the center, for center, <laughs> the center here. You can see it does have a natural finish to it. It does have the glow of, say, skin because the side doesn't have any makeup and the side does. So you can just see how the light is reflecting. So it's more of like a satiny glow, I would say. Not totally satin, but also a nice natural glow. I know there are going to be questions about the Merit Beauty, so I think we'll do a comparison of all of the things that they have, like the highlighter, the blush, the foundation. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side. -side. Today we'll focus on these products specifically though. I'm going to use it under my eye as concealer. I did try this, it seemed okay. A little bit tricky here if you go in directly. We're gonna use the Merit brush though for this, just to sweep it out because it does such a nice job under the eye anyway. And then you can see again, maybe a little bit deeper, a little bit more peach would be nice. I wouldn't necessarily use this as a concealer though because it doesn't have that same color correcting kind of property that something with a peachier tone does. But I'll build it up just so you can see. Okay, so there it is built up. What I'm gonna do is even this out. So I'll show you what this looks like directly on if you wanna see. So there it is. It can be applied pretty heavily as you can see. Yeah, normally I will put something like the Clay to Poe concealer on top of this. But let's see today. Let's see how it works without it. Okay, so there it is if you wanna use it as an under eye concealer. It seemed to work okay as an under eye concealer. I am going to go in, this is not Westman Atelier, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stila right here and then also apply to my eyelids. So I did wanna even out my skin tone on my eyelids, less for performance purposes because the eyeshadow product seems to do well without primer as well. We're gonna see how these do in front without concealer today, just so you can see. Um, and I also wanna show you the texture of this built up. So I'm gonna take this truffle. Oh, actually, let's do half. So this is truffle. 
on this side. Just clean off the brush here and then we're gonna go in with Biscuit. So really quickly though, this was Truffle. We're gonna go ahead with Biscuit on this side just so you can see. So you can see it's much cooler. So Truffle has a nice warmth to it and Biscuit is has like a grayer tone to it. So let me go ahead and even them up and then we'll add the blush. Okay, so I think we're evened out pretty well. Um, yeah, I just think truffle's so much better. Let's go ahead with blush. So we've got here Chouchette. This one's not new. I'm trying to wait for the other one to come back into stock, um, the new one, but we'll go in with this. So usually I will powder first because this doesn't move around as much. So you can see it's quite glowy as well if you don't want a powder. So this blush might be my favorite product by Westman Atelier. I think the formula is so pretty. Okay, so far looking okay. Um, we're gonna see how it looks powdered and then I'll go back and see if I need to fix anything. But this is how it looks directly on the foundation. Yeah, so not bad. But I could go in with a little bit more foundation if I want coverage on top of this and kind of um, blur that or diffuse that a little bit, kind of like I do with powder. So I've got a little bit more foundation here and I can just go in like this and take that down just a little bit. So of course these work really well together. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think you could do this and layer for concealer. It's just more efficient for me to go in with clay to poe because I know I'll get that coverage right away. So it depends on your level of concealer needs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and powder, put eyebrows on, then we'll do the eyes. So here we are powdered. I just went in with a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of clay to poe, loose powder, and then a little bit of the blur powder. But you can see the coverage is still not uh, like concealer level because I can still see a little bit of the dark spots coming through, um, but let's go ahead to eyes. So I'm going to use this brush, it's a smudger brush, and I think this is by IT, but I'm going in with this color right here. This is Tabak, it's my favorite one. So let's go in and just go all over that. I love this for one and done. So they're really just soft color. Very difficult to overdo this one, I think. But you can see that nice sheen on there. And I definitely can go in a bit more heavy handed in terms of application, like picking up the product. So it's not like I'm having to use a lighter hand and pay attention. I can just, I could probably put this on in the dark. <laughs> then we've got Chocolat, the um, deeper espresso type color, well, chocolate color. So I'm just taking the same brush and I'm just going to intensify. This one is really interesting because I don't really see the color, but I think it just intensifies the shade of the tabak. So I'm just gonna go in like this. So you'll see, it doesn't look brown to me. It just looks like this became intensified. Deepen that a little bit more. Just kind of going around like this. I also think if you have texture to your eyelids, this probably won't emphasize them because this is a really soft kind of sheen finish. Not shimmery, there's nothing shimmery in here, but there's a glow. So I just put the brush in here, again, easy to apply, especially with this kind of a brush. And then I'm gonna go under, really soft, so I'm not going to be very precise at all, just on the exterior here. I'm going to take the tabak again and just run it under here. These really just fuse nicely into each other where you can't see where one color stops and the other one begins. Take Neige, I've used this a little bit, you can see, um, I'm gonna take that in the inner corner. And I prefer this to that lit up highlighter stick for the inner corner. I think it looks a little bit more, a little bit more natural. And then I might go in with a little bit of tabak just to warm it up just slightly, like this. I mean, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can, it's very subtle. Oh, by the way, I did add just a little bit of the Merit lip oil because my lips feel kind of dehydrated, um, but I'm gonna add mascara and then we'll come back with highlighter. So I'm just adding now some of the Peau de Peche right here on the cheek. 
it's a really subtle highlighter. But let me know what you think of this. It's a different, definitely a different kind of a highlighter. So I've got it here too, and it has a bit of color to it. Um, but on my skin tone, you don't really see it as color. Oh, and I just did add some uh, Chantecaille mascara. And then the lip I have on right now, let me find it, this combination, I've got Chantecaille's Honey Pot Lip Veil. So this one, it's a little bit more opaque, not as glossy as something like this. I've got the Peach Blossom, which is a lip chic on top, a little glossier, a little bit more sheer. So those two are layered together. Let's put a little bit of that highlighter down my nose just so we can see what it looks like. I feel like it's a little bit harder to see over there. Again, it's not a very obvious highlighter, at least on me it's not. Yeah, it has almost like a coppery tone to it. So there it is on the bridge of my nose. So you can see really the very limited amount of sheen that it provides. Very nice in-person kind of highlighter. Okay, I just read the difference between the lip, not lip, <laughs> the highlighter, the uh, tinted highlight, the super loaded tinted highlight, this one in uh, Peau de Peche versus the lit up. Now, I still would like to pick up the nectar shade. I'm looking for it. Oh, here it is. They're the same color as the um, contour stick. So I do have this and she talked about it being more like a lipstick versus a highlighter and not a lipstick versus highlighter. That doesn't make sense. A lipstick versus a lip gloss. So you can layer them. So even though I want nectar, I thought we could just at least look at the finish. I'm going to put a little bit on my fingertips here. It does have that cool tone to it, which I think is better for cooler skin tones or if you like that. Um, but I prefer something warmer. So we're just gonna put a little bit more on. So she didn't talk about layering them and that there's more color payoff as well with something like the Peau de Peche. So here it is with a little bit of the Lit Up stick on there just because I have it. But again, the two things I'd love to pick up are the new blush and the Nectar, the highlighting stick. Let's go ahead and revisit these really quickly. For the foundation stick, it says uh, it's got antioxidants in it. It's formulated with active ingredients to combat redness, calm irritation, even out complexion and boost moisture. So it sounds like there are some skincare benefits in here as well. Natural radiant finish, which I think this has. It is very radiant. It does have a glow about it. Not because of anything shimmery in it, just because of its texture though. So she does mention that she uses a few different shades on one face, which totally makes sense to me. I'd love to have a few different colors just to see how I could make that work because I do have different skin tones on my face. I think five was a great shade for the inside of my face, but I would definitely need other shades. Although I have to say, I don't need foundation on the exterior and using the truffle stick helped to kind of um, bring that shade back anyway. So I think I was actually okay with just the one foundation stick. Now, if you need it all over your face, that's a different story. Um, but for me, I just applied it in the front, very natural. Now, would I recommend this? I think if you want something that is very like natural looking, I think this was a great one. I didn't have any issues with it settling in. This seemed to do better more as like a thinner layer. I would personally avoid building it up too much here in the front where I have existing texture anyway. So I think it looks better as a thinner layer. The blush is not new to me, but I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And when I wear it with other foundations, the glow is really beautiful as well. So I am glow from the texture, not so much from any kind of shimmery or reflective particles that I see, more like a skin-like glow. Now for the uh, contour stick, I definitely think that truffle was better, but more as a bronzer versus a contour. Contour to me means more, it's means, can't speak today, <laughs> means it's going to have more like a gray, like more of a shadowy appearance um, versus the warmth of something like truffle. But Biscuit I think is great if you are lighter in skin tone and want that more contour kind of appearance. Um, but I really liked truffle, so I'm glad I picked that up. Let's talk about the iPods really quickly. When I looked at the other shades, I really liked the Tabak in there, so I think that's why I chose that really beautiful one and done shade. I like how the 
um, that chocolat, just deepened it without adding too much color. I thought that was really kind of an interesting effect. And I think neige was beautiful for the inner corner. So I can see this as like very much an everyday kind of eyeshadow because it was so quick as well. And then I didn't add eyeliner either. So I think it's a really natural look. Of course you can, but I just didn't hear. So silky emollients derived from coconut oil and fatty acids replace silicones for luxurious slip and blendability. I thought it was really blendable. A featherweight rice and plant extracts provide a velvety smooth application and molten second skin effect. And I think that that's pretty accurate. It just melded into the skin. I really like the finish on there. Slight sheen on it. Um, very much a natural kind of fresh makeup look. Um, and the Peau de Peche, I think it's an interesting product. It doesn't really have a highlight of, oh, now I put something on there. It doesn't really have like a highlight effect, but it has like a softening, softening, <laughs> softening, brightening effect more than I would say a highlighter. Now you can see with that lit up stick how it looks. It's interesting she made that analogy to gloss because it kind of still has a little bit of that feeling. So I hope that helps you out in case you were considering any Westman Atelier products. I think they worked just fine. I would love to do a side-by-side -side with the Merit products because they both have foundations, they both have highlighters, they both have blushes that I have. So let me know if you would like to see that and then I can kind of weigh them out for you because the price points are different. But I did want to focus solely on Westman Atelier today just so you could see what everything looks like together. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.